Hi everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm really excited to have you here with me today for a really casual video. I got a haul in the mail and this is Karen Sultan jewelry and there's a darn lot of it, like too much of it, but I wanted to just kind of open the box with you. I need to get some scissors and then go through the pieces and please let me know in the comment section which ones you like, which ones you don't like. I will try to kind of number the pieces so it'll give you kind of a, a guideline. And I normally show you my outfit of the day, but this is just something I had in my closet. So I will show you my makeup of the day. And uh, basically I have one of my favorite lip combos on, which is the Revlon Colorstay Lip Pencil in Nude. Love that. And then I have this great little lipstick, which I just found. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Lipstick in the color something, Sugar Plum 754. And there is that color there. And it is a gorgeous nude, but it is not too nude, if you know what I mean. It's got a little bit of darkness in it, a little bit of the rose in it, which I really like. And then I have it topped with one of my favorite glosses. This is the City Lips Lip Gloss in the color San Diego. Absolutely beautiful. It gives you a little bit of a plumping effect but I just think it's so pretty over most colors. That is a great lip gloss. And if you're not yet a member of the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. Now, one last thing I wanted to show you is I'm looking kind of greasy. Look at my face right now. And I've showed this to you before, but I think this is the best powder known to man. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed Flawless Finish. And look at my face. You can just see, you know, a lot of lines because as we age, we do get lines. There's no doubt about it. Let me go ahead and open this up. Okay, there's the little, there's the little pressed powder. And just look how it really does give me a more airbrushed, more flawless finish on that side. See that? Now I have not used it on this side. Now I'm going to use it on this side. It can't absolutely eliminate wrinkles, but it gives you the appearance of just being a little bit more airbrushed, a little bit more flawless. I have purchased this. I think this is my fourth one. I just broke the end of my third one, which really killed me. I have another one coming from eBay too. I just don't want to do without this. But as you can see, it just gives you a really beautiful finish. Okay, the jewelry haul I got is from a brand called Karen Sultan. It's spelled like Karine, but it's Karen Sultan. And I ordered some pieces maybe a month ago and I ordered some and I sent some of them back that I didn't like. So I'll go ahead and show you the pieces that I already have. And this piece, actually these earrings, I love them. And I've had them for about six months now and I got them from Nordstrom and I'll put all the links below to this jewelry. It is not Amazon. Actually, you can get some of it on Amazon, not much though, but look at those earrings. I think that is an absolutely glam looking, kind of 90s looking earring and I love it. This is also something that has that 90s vibe to it. And this is a beautiful hammered metal necklace. And I like it because it's two-tone. It has the silver and the gold. And so you can wear it with either. Now, this is the little gold ring that I have. And I'm not as jazzed about this ring. And I'll show you why. Supposedly, it's one size fits all. And it just goes like this. Well, I have like big fingers. I have size eight fingers. If you had a six, this would fit beautifully. Unfortunately, this little guy it falls off when you have big fatter fingers like me. So I wouldn't suggest this for you unless you're like maybe a size, maybe a size six or less, I would say. Now this is the little bracelet and these are just all individual bracelets that are elastic. And, and I think it'd be fun really to put half of them on this side and half on this, but I just think those are beautiful. Those would be perfect when we get into summer because they have that kind of lightweight summer vibe. Okay, I've changed it out a bit, and this is a little more silver tone. Of course, I have my normal wedding ring, which I don't change, which is actually gold and silver. It's kind of a mix, but here I have the same ring that I had before, same reservations I had before that you need to have a six or, or smaller finger to really wear that, but this is an amazing bracelet. Love this. Look how big and chumpy and kind of glam that looks. It has the little crystals in it all around. It has the hammered silver absolutely a beautiful bracelet, very understated. I don't know that I would wear this and this together. I think maybe I would just wear this and the earrings. In fact, I think I've worn this combo in a video already, but I love these earrings. These are a two-tone earring, the little gold disc. It's gold, silver, gold is what that is. 
and I think those are really beautiful. Okay, now the earrings I'm going to show you, I've had for a month and I did keep them, so I'm not going to possibly be sending them back, but I absolutely love them. They are just big, bold kind of rectangles, have a little design in them, very, very pretty, love them. I love the fact that I have a rectangular face. I, I was told in a styling session that because my face is rectangle, that I needed jewelry that was also rectangular, so I really like that. And then I have this bracelet, which I just got. This is one of the new ones. And let me know in the comment section if you think I should keep this. If I were wearing this bracelet, I would not do a necklace. I would just do the earrings with it. But let me know if you think I'd get a lot of use out of that. I kind of think I would. I think that is really cool. Okay, I just pulled the earrings and necklace out of the box, and I think I really like them. I think they have a huge 90s vibe. I really like big, bold, sparkly pieces. And this is just a beautiful kind of a rounded, kind of a textured earring, very pretty. And I like this one. Now this one may be on clearance sale, I'm not so sure, but I was showing you another couple of them in a few minutes. But this is an absolutely beautiful, very heavy gold braided kind of a neck chain. I think that's really lovely. And then I have it with these elastic kind of chunky individual bracelets there. But I think that is really classy. I am so into the 90s vibe. Let me know if you like it too, or if you're more into the really delicates, because I could show those on my channel as well, but I really do like those. Okay, now I'm going to switch back to the silver, and please let me know in the comment section if you are more a silver girl or a gold girl. I am kind of in the middle right now. I have so much silver from the last maybe 10 years, but I think maybe I look better in the gold. If you have an opinion about that, let me know too. Okay, these are a silver set. And again, this is the bracelet that I first showed you, this wonderful crystal chunky bracelet. And this is a gorgeous silver neck chain and it is very fine quality. It is costume jewelry, of course, all of this is, but it's a little more expensive and it will really last. It has great reviews. But I've combined it with a little feminine earring, this little silver textured rectangle. It has silver here and textured here, and then little pearl drops there. These happen to be clip, but I believe these also come in pierced. I just think in a heavier earring, I can handle the clip a lot better because I did go through the 90s and wore a lot of heavy pierced earrings and it didn't do my little ear holes any favors but I absolutely love this. And let me know in the comment section if you like pearls. I am thinking that I am really liking them. Pearls aren't totally trending right now, but I think pearls are always classic, and let me know if you agree. Now, before I take this chunky necklace off, and of course the chunky bracelet, I did want to show you another option on the earrings, and I just love these too. I'm having the problem, and I pretty much love everything, and I think I'm very likely to keep it all but please let me know piece by piece, yay or nay, on any of this stuff. If you see anything you don't like, let me know that. But I think that is beautiful. That is just that hammered silver look in a rectangle, very gleamy and glowy without being too over the top. And I actually think it looks really good with this hammered bracelet. Okay, this is the last set of silver I'll be showing you. <laughs> it's enough though. I mean, I've definitely got a lot of jewelry. I have quite a bit of gold left, but this is a little silver bracelet. It matches that necklace that I just had on. It has four rows of separate silver chain. And then I think this is really, really nice. It has one little hanging tag, which says Karen Sultan on it, Karen Sultan. I think that is just really pretty, a nice little touch there. And the earrings are like braided ropes that are kind of in a triangular design. I think that is really modern and really pretty. And I think it looks really good with this bracelet. I don't know that I'd wear a necklace with it because this bracelet is pretty bold. Okay, before I move on with the last bit and they are gold, I did want to point out that this bracelet also comes in this gold color, absolutely beautiful. I didn't wanna put it on though and I'll warn you about this. Alan was just here and he helped me clasp this bracelet and he was not here, he just left to work on a rental house. He was not here to help me take it off and it took me a little bit of effort and it is probably because I have these long nails. I think you could get this on and off. It has a very large clasp. If you had very nice short nails, but with my nails, my, my acrylic nails, it is very difficult to get these off without assistance. I did want to let you know that. Okay, let's keep going. This is a beautiful gold kind of a wheat chain necklace, and I believe it has the hanging tag logo on the back. So you can understand the difference between the one I showed you earlier and this one. I'll go ahead and get it back out of its package again. 
Okay, this is the classic kind of a wheat chain, relatively understated, and this is the one I showed you earlier, which is the big, thicker rope. And so it just kind of depends how bold you want to be. And again, this one I think might be on clearance. I hope it's still around if you like that. I kind of prefer, probably of the two, I kind of prefer this because it has a ladylike look to it. And I have it paired with the same earrings I showed earlier in silver. They're the little rectangular gold discs with a pearl drop on the side. I just think that is so feminine and beautiful. And again, I have the chunky gold bracelet with it, but I think that is just beautiful. And if these pearls aren't bold enough for you, wait just one moment. Okay, I have the same necklace on, the wheat chain gold necklace, and I have the same kind of chunky gold bracelet, the elastic bracelets, but I have done a really wild earring and I have this earring in just the plane without the pearl drops. I showed that earlier. So if you're not into the pearl drops, there is another option for you. I didn't think when I saw these online that I would really like them very well with the pearl drops hanging down. They're kind of, kind of triangular shaped pearl drops, but I think they are absolutely beautiful, very feminine, but still with that 90s chunky vibe. Okay, the next kind of set involves a pair of earrings that I showed you before, this time in gold, and I'll move in a little closer so you can see those. Those are those rectangles that are hammered metal, very glossy, very shiny, but I really think they are very kind of classy looking, very classic, and I think you could get a lot of use out of them. Okay, here are another pair of earrings, and these are good if you happen to like the gold buttons. These are hammered gold buttons around the outside with a little bit of silver, that little silver dot on the inside. So they are two-toned. And if you are a button earring lover, you might really like these. Okay, if you again like the round button earrings, I think these are so cool. These are those little classic Roman gold coin earrings. Very, very super classic. They never really go out of style. And I think they're very feminine, a little more understated than some of them. Very classic earrings that you'll get a lot of use out of. Okay, that was a look at my Karen Sultan haul. And I have to tell you, I had thought at the beginning of this video that I would send a bunch of this stuff back, just kind of decide the really great ones that I wanted to keep and that there would be some that I would be able to send back. But I'm not sure I'm finding anything that I want to send back. In the comments section, if you could help me and let me know maybe some of the pieces you don't like, that would be really helpful. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. Let me come in here. And I've been reading from the 212 How to Transform Your Mind book from Dr. Lance Parker, who is a cognitive behavioral psychologist here in Wichita. Every morning when I do my devotions, another thing I do is that I've read this book a couple of times and I've got all kinds of highlighting. I do my devotions and then I just open this book to a certain page and look for something highlighted on that page because I think it's going to be my message for the day and I'm going to use that information throughout the day. And this morning, that's exactly what I did. And let me find it here. I actually dog-eared this one for you. And here it is, it says trapped. But let me read you what it said because I think it is really such a great passage. Every single experience in your life is 100% under your control right here, right now. You have the power to experience whatever you want. And what dumbfounds me about this is in all the years that I practice psychology, I haven't heard a lot of that in the literature. I see these tools they have given us to help people, all these cognitive behavioral tools. But what I hear researchers and clinicians talk about is you can't cure depression. You can't cure anxiety. You can only manage it. That is such a hopeless message. You are depressed because of how you think. Only you can change how you think, but we don't think you will ever not be depressed. You just need to get used to the idea of being depressed your whole life and start trying to manage it. And you know, when I really think about it, it really makes me angry because a big part of psychology is cognitive behavioral therapy. Cognitive means what you think, Behavior means your behavior. Basically that there are tools to help you positively control your thoughts and attitudes. And when I really think about it, in the past maybe 10, 15 years, all we've been hearing about is things like, oh, I'm depressed or anxious because my mother was, my dad was, my grandmother was, I just can't help it. And I'm sorry, what kind of power does, I just can't help it give us. It gives us no power. 
And that's why I really love the messages in this book. He has four different tools that you use to realize that you are in control of yourself. You have power over your thoughts and your attitudes and your behavior. It's time to get off the couch emotionally and maybe even literally to do those things we know we should do in life to help ourselves feel and even look much better. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.